Hey guys! For today's video, I'm going to bring you along on a normal day in my life during isolation and social distancing and working from home. Just a quick update on the situation in Denmark. Most people have gone back to their workplaces and some people are back in school, so we are slowly starting to spend more time with one another again. All right, let's get into it. So today was Sunday and I woke up at 8 a.m. with the sun shining in through my window. The first thing I do every morning is to stay in bed for a while and look at the trees outside of my window and really just appreciate being awake and surrounded by nature. I then turn my phone off of flight mode and find my favorite Abraham Hicks morning meditation, which I listen to in bed every single day. It starts my day off on a really good note and reminds me that every day is in fact a good day and that everything is worth appreciating, even the negative aspects, which Abraham call contrast and contrasting experience, because they guide us to knowing what we do want by showing us what we do not want. I get dressed and make my bed, and I go downstairs to get some water. I always start my day with one liter of 9.5 kangen water, and sometimes I add lemon juice, but not today. The next thing I do is just get ready for the day. I wash my face using 6.0 beauty water that my Kangen water machine creates for me. It works as a toner and my skin loves it because it has a similar pH as rainwater. I brush my teeth and I use the 2.5 strong acidic water also made by my Kangen water machine to take care of my gums. I use a natural deodorant and the skin oil on my face because I'm trying to heal my acne scarring. I spray a little bit of 6.0 beauty water on my hair as well, which makes it so soft and flowy. And now I'm ready to go and do some yoga. I've been doing online yoga classes for 30 days today with my friend Soph. We started 30 days ago and we have been using Yoga with Adrian, which is a YouTube channel I will link down below. And we've been doing the home series. So today was day 30 and the last day of the 30 day yoga journey. However, we will continue to do the yoga together. We're just going to be using Adrian's calendar from now on which I will also link down below. I've been doing yoga pretty regularly for years. However, I don't think I've ever actually practiced yoga for 30 days consecutively. So this has been such a beautiful journey for me and it made it 10 times better to get to do it with a friend. I really love how the consistency of practicing for 30 days has made my body feel so much stronger. And now my daily yoga practice is one of my favorite things throughout every day. A breather when I need it and a reason to move my body and release feel-good chemicals in my brain. After finishing my yoga practice, I made myself a smoothie bowl with bananas, frozen berries, frozen mango, wild blueberry powder, Hawaiian spirulina, and oat milk to make it creamy. And I ate this delicious meal while getting ready to work on my online business for an hour or so. The work that I was doing at this point in my day was just checking emails, checking to see if new leads had come through since yesterday. And if they have, I reach out to them on Instagram or by email. And then I was just replying to DMs on Instagram and PMs on Facebook. Around noon, my parents and I had plans to go and meet up with my big brother 
and his family to go see the house that they will be moving into this summer. Right now, they are a family of six people. I have three nephews and one niece, and they all live in one apartment that could definitely be bigger for the size of their family. So I'm really grateful and happy for them that they get to move into a house with a garden and lots of hiding places and space to just play and have fun outside as a family. This is my niece and she's the cutest human ever. We actually both have cancer as our sun sign and Virgo as our rising. And she just reminds me so much of myself. So I'm really excited to just experience her growing up. After that, we went to the grocery store, which I forgot to film, but I purchased this vegan cheese to try out, which I would later regret because it made me super bloated, but more on that later. I made a warm salad, sauteing garlic, carrots, and broccolini, which is like a hybrid of broccoli and asparagus, and it tastes delicious. And I piled it together with organic mixed lettuce, avocado, and tomato, and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice on top. I was pretty pooped at this point, so I just chilled with some Netflix and my food, which was really nice. Later, after I finished eating and watching my show, I danced for 20 minutes to move my body and raise my frequency before sitting down to work again. Dancing is a guarantee for me to raise my frequency and I feel so much better. I just feel so alive, I feel so vibrant, and I feel so happy when I dance to my favorite tunes. It gets me into a really good headspace for sitting down and connecting with people online, which is what I did afterwards. I spend a bit more time responding to DMs and reaching out to people who expressed interest in learning more about becoming Kangen Water Distributors and working online as I do. And then I spent some time getting sales forms ready for a really amazing woman and single mom who is going to be joining my team in one of the upcoming weeks. So I was just getting everything ready to send to her when everything will be ready on her end. I really love what I do. I love being a Kangen Water distributor. I love working with Enagic and with the breakaway movement. I love being a catalyst for someone else to break away from their lifestyle of working a job that does not fulfill them. And I love helping health conscious individuals make an impact and an income sharing products that they can fully get behind and that they love. I'm so grateful for the effect that I've had on these people's lives as I get to mentor them and help them create their dream life by starting their own successful online business. And I'm so grateful for my own mentor for opening this door for me in the first place. Just before the sun was about to set, I went for a walk in nature. I live out in the countryside of Denmark, which means there's a lot of fresh air and a lot of beautiful nature around me, which I'm so grateful for. My daily walks might just be my favorite thing about every single day, when I'm surrounded with nature, I feel my most authentic self. I feel at home, I feel peaceful, and I feel the universe or God supporting me in every way. I can see the abundance and the love which is always available to me so clearly when I'm in nature. I love this quote by Yogi Bhajan that I actually heard once while I was out for a walk. It goes, if you can't see God in all, you can't see God at all. When I go for my walk, I usually listen to an audiobook or a podcast. Today I was listening to the teachings of Abraham Hicks from the book Ask and It Is Given by Jerry and Esther Hicks, which I highly recommend. I had another smoothie bowl for dinner because I was feeling really bloated and had a bellyache and I believe it was from eating that vegan cheese because it was the only thing that I wasn't used to eating. So I didn't feel like eating a gigantic meal and I decided to play it safe with a smoothie bowl. I had a warm shower and I applied a face mask because my period is coming up so my skin needed a bit of extra loving today. 
15 minutes later, I removed the face mask. I dried my hair and I brushed my teeth. and put some more of the same oil from this morning in my face again. I then sat down to film an Insta story about self-love, imperfection, and insecurities, and I wanted to touch on that here as well. Basically, I was posting one of my favorite self-love mantras, which is, I love my skin, I love my skin in whichever state that it's in. Today, I've had a bit of a bad skin day just because I am getting my period in a few days. And then I was eating some snacks earlier and I also felt super bloated and my belly has been really bloated tonight and kind of painful. I just was thinking about how in the past, I have really allowed myself to feel so bad about myself when this happens that I wouldn't express myself fully, that I wouldn't show up. I wouldn't show my face on Instagram because I was ashamed or scared of judgment from showing off my pimples. I just would hold myself back from fully expressing myself and living my life as I wanted to. At one point, it really just occurred to me that one day I'm gonna be 70 years old and when I'm 70 years old, I do not want to sit there and be thinking about Back when I was 23 years old, I was young and vibrant and I did not live my life because I was scared of what people would think about me if I had pimples and I showed them on Instagram. I don't want to think back on my youth, my beautiful, beautiful youth that I am living right now and be like, I could have lived so much more, but I did not show up because I was scared. I was scared of being seen. I was scared of people looking at my imperfections and judging me. Now, I just feel like who cares? Who cares if someone else judges me? That does not change my life. The fact that someone else may be looking at my pimples or my acne scarring and thinking she isn't beautiful or that makes her ugly like i just don't i don't want to care anymore i don't want to care about one person on the beach judging me because my butt is wiggling when i'm walking on the beach as it will and because i show off my stretch marks and my cellulite as most women have, and because I show up with my pimples and no makeup as I do. I don't wanna stop living my life because of that one dude that has judgment in his life. I am not gonna stop living my life fully because one person feels so negatively within himself that he needs to place judgment onto other people. That is not my issue, that is his issue. He's the person that has to live with that mindset and that is not a pleasant mindset to have. When you judge others, you judge yourself. And when someone judges you, the best thing to do is just offer them compassion because they need it more than anyone. But my point of this is mostly just like we cannot stop living our lives because we get a pimple or because we feel bloated one day. We don't have to try to be perfect all the time. Tonight I asked on Instagram, have you ever been in a situation where you felt self-conscious or bad about your skin or about your body? and 100% of the people who answered, answered yes. And I went on to asking, have you ever felt judged or shamed by someone because of your skin or because of your body? 100% of the people said yes. And I just think that it's worth noticing that we have all been there. We're all in this together. Insecurities are very common for all of us because our society is basically built in a way that makes us question ourselves. And that's how they keep earning money and how they keep the system going as it is right now. Because you feel like you need to cover your face with foundation or whatever it is, you know? You don't have to do that. You can just be you. Life becomes so much better and so much more simple if we allow ourselves to just be ourselves. We're no doubt going to have some days where we have massive pimples and we have wiggly 
booties and we have cellulite and we have stretch marks and we have beautiful beautiful round bloated bellies and let's just embrace it because feeling bad every time that happens we're gonna have a very tough life and that is our choice so just try your best to feel comfortable within your own skin no matter what it looks like today. I love my skin, I love my skin in whichever state that it's in. My day ended with a one hour live business call about implementing Ayurvedic techniques into your business, hosted by the Breakaway Movement. I love these weekly calls so much because more than 100 people come together to learn how we can improve ourselves and be better humans and better mentors for other people. And before turning the lights off, I gave gratitude for my day and wrote down the five special things that I was extra grateful for today. Giving gratitude has the potential to change our lives. It raises our frequency and lets the universe know that we appreciate what's here, which makes the universe reciprocate by giving us more of that which we desire. I give gratitude before going to bed because that way I know that I will wake up in a positive headspace tomorrow. That's all for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video and want me to continue make similar content, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see from me in the future, please leave a comment down below. I'm also really curious to hear what kind of things you implement in your daily routine. Do you have things that you do every single day? And if so, what are they? Leave a comment down below. And as always, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me and I appreciate all of the support that you guys give me. So thank you so much for watching along and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. I'm sending you guys so much love.